so i know i haven't been uploading recently on youtube that's because there isn't really any good content to upload i know there's a lot of warzone things going on right now but we're not here to talk about warzone or season three we're here to talk about gta 6 so there's been a lot of speculations going around the internet for the past couple months regarding GTA 6 and its release date. Certain leaks have been going around such as it's going to be released by the end of 2022. It may be even announced in the end of 2021, but I don't think that's true. So of course, I saw a website which basically states that Netflix in France was kind of trolling about GTA 6 and its release date saying that it will be coming very soon and if you want to read what this article said on the website then i'll be leaving a link in the description you can have a look for yourself and read fully in depth as to what it was saying it was basically just saying like um france basically said gta 6 will be coming soon and a lot of people were replied to that asking for more information upon that um tweet that they put out so my thoughts about gta 6 and when it will be released is i believe that GTA 6 may be announced mid 2022 and not come out until 2024. The reason why is because I saw a video or I think I read something online which was basically saying every time Rockstar announced a game, let's say for example they announced a game next year, the game will not come out until two years after that announcement. I think I remember that with Red Dead Redemption 2 and with GTA 5 five i believe i think gta 5 was announced in 2012 2011 and came out september 17th 2013 and red dead redemption 2 got announced in 2018 but came out in 2020 i could be wrong maybe it might have been last year though so everyone for those who don't know actually why gta 6 isn't out is because of two reasons one we have people still paying for shark cards in gta 5 meaning rockstar's making loads of money from a previous game that came out at least seven eight years ago and two there's so much realistic features on red dead redemption 2 that people don't even know about yet and there's so much stuff and potential that red dead redemption 2 have is the reason why gta 6 isn't out yet let's not forget the fact that the second half of 2021 gta 5 will be coming out for next gen consoles which will be the xbox series x and s and the playstation 5 i'm assuming what they're gonna do is add like maybe 15 cars um 300 pieces of clothing and maybe like five different guns i don't think it's gonna be anything that major i could be wrong though they could definitely prove all of us wrong but for them to actually release a game for the third time on a third generation console or second generation console is a bit beyond me the reason why i say that is because they better come up with something extremely good that will make us who play gta 5 or people who used to play gta 5 but got bored of it they have to come up with some feature that will make us say all right we're gonna be happy with this for the next couple of years the only way they're ever gonna do that is by adding dedicated servers into gta 5 which i think they will never do so if they have this literally last option to make gta 5 better now i don't know if most people know about this but a lot of people do but if you don't know about this gta 5 on consoles is boring that's why everyone now especially my friends they've all moved over to pc the reason why is because we play gta rp gta rp is basically exactly what you wanted gta to be all along but because rockstar are lazy instead of trying to figure out about gta 6 fair enough a couple months back i made a video talking about how they cancelled bully 2 to make gta 6 in a faster production but at the same time if they want to make gta if they don't want to bring out gta anytime soon they need to have a dedicated server or have something related to gta rp because no one wants to be loading into gta just to get blown up by a flying bike so of course instead of rockstar trying to work on this game which maybe they might be but at a very slow production rate they instead want to be buying mods from modders that make the game load five times faster uh, that may sound a bit confusing so i'll try to break it down a bit more simple a bunch of modders or hackers basically created like this modern program you would say which basically makes you loading into gt online 10 times faster rockstar saw this mod and said all right we're not even gonna allow this bmw allow this feature for gta allow that feature for gta we're just gonna buy this off you for ten thousand dollars uh a mod that makes gta 5 online load faster like that's literally it that's all they care about is just gta online because they know that they're making so much money from the shark cards being purchased so here's what i'm gonna say just to try and end this video from now gta 6 this is my fury 
This will be announced probably by the end of this year and will not come out until late 2023, early 2024. I can definitely say this for 100%, GTA 6 will be coming before 2025. I know that 100%. Otherwise, that will be a 13-year-old game that they have not that, you know what I mean? That would be a 13, 14 year old game we've had for a while now. I know we've had GTA 4, but GTA 4 managed to get backwards compatibility on the Xbox Series X. Or I think Xbox One, if I believe. Now, I did make a video uh, about a month back or three weeks back talking about how GTA 4 Remastered or the Complete Edition will be coming to PlayStation 5 in April 29th, which is also meant to be Grand Theft Auto 4's anniversary day. So hopefully we'll be seeing that happening. Um, I'm hoping it's going to be released. At least it's like, again, a break from GTA 5. But at the same time, I am playing GTA RP on the PC. And I'm having so much fun. I may make some videos upon that. But again, this isn't a GTA channel. This is just an all around channel. I'll make news about Warzone, GTA, anything mainly. Just to keep everyone updated with what's going on in the gaming community. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please leave a like and subscribe. And I'm out.